Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tip for IGCSC Mathematics. Today's topic is related to further solving of equations and equalities. This topic is more or less is just a revision of algebra. Let's look one of the example. Algebra solutions of simultaneous linear equation solved simultaneously by substitution. Given the value of 3x minus 2y equals to 29 and 4x plus y equals to 24. Let's solve to get the value of y. 4x plus y equals to 24 and y is actually 24 minus 4x. Okay, when you get the value of y, you substitute the value of y. 3x minus 2y equals to 29. 3x minus 2 in bracket substitute y to 24 minus 4x close bracket equals to 29. 3x minus 2 times 24 is become 48. And minus multiplied by minus equals to plus 2 times 4x equals to 8x equals to 29. 3x plus 8x equals to 11x. 48 minus plus 48 plus 48. We get 11x equals to 77. And x equals to 7. Given y equals to 24 minus 4x. y equals to 24 minus 4. Substitute the value of x which is 7. So it's equals to bracket 7. y equals to 24 minus 28. y equals to minus 4. Okay, giving this example, example to solve this problem. So 3x minus 4 less than 14. So by looking at this, you have to add 4 to both sides. 3x minus 4 plus 4 less than 18 plus 4. Okay. So in this case, we have 14 plus 4. So we have 3x less than 18. So, and then divide both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3, less than 18 divided by 3. Now we have a value of x is less than 6. Okay, 4 open bracket x minus 7 is greater and equal to 16. So you have to expand the bracket. It means that 4 times x equals to 4x. 4 times minus 7 equals to minus 28 and greater than 16. And you have to add 28 to both sides. 4x minus 28 plus 28 and 16 plus 28. You have 4x greater than equivalent to 44. And then you have to divide both sides by 4. That means 4x divided by 4 greater than 44 divided by 4. So you get the value of x is greater than 11. Okay. This is actually the way of doing, there is a two ways of doing things. Okay. So both is actually riding to the same conclusion whereby x is greater than 11. Okay, number C. C, you have 5x minus 3 less than and equal to 2x plus 18. So you have to subtract the number of x from the, both sides. So what you got to do is you got to move 2x over here which is plus is become minus. 5x 
minus 3 minus 2x and sorry you have to minus 2x at both side so 2x plus 18 minus 2x so you get 3x minus 3 less than 18 and you have to add 3 by both side you get 3x minus 3 plus 3 less than and equal to 18 plus 3 and the 3x is less than and equal to 21 and x is less than and equal to 7. Okay, this is another example. I just uh, explain to you just a few examples. So 3x over 6. How to do this is the highest common factors of 3 and 6 is 3. So in this case, you have to divide by 3. The, the, the numerator and the D factors, you have to divide by 3. And then you get the value of X over 2. Same thing goes to here. Y to the power of 2 divided by 5. Y to the power, to the power of 5. So what you get to do is the highest common factors of y to the power of 2 and y to the power of 5 is y to the power of 2. So what you have to do is you have to divide numerator and denominator with the y to the power of 2. Then you simplify it, you get y to the power of 2 divide y to the power of 2 equals to 1. And y to the power of 5 divided by y to the power of 2, you become 5 minus 2, become y to the power of 3. Well, it's going to end of this chapter. Remember, so practice make perfect. The more practice you make, the more perfect you get. Thank you very much.